Hi there, Andrew Jackson. Um, I've decided to have a crack at doing some more videos. Uh, I've had a break, I don't know, eight weeks or something. Not using SolidWorks at all. Haven't touched SolidWorks, haven't opened it, but I uh, had to go and do some work for a client the other day. So yeah, it was nice to have a break. Uh, I've been doing an interior rendering work instead, which is quite, quite, a, uh, quite a change from doing this SolidWorks work all the time. So, uh, first video back, I thought I'd, I'd, I'd dust off a little exercise I completed for um, an interview, I guess, um, a while back, just looking at a uh, bike chain. So, say a mountain bike setup, this is similar ratio to something I've run uh, on a mountain bike before, 32 tooth cog on the front and a 11 to 42 on the back. I thought I'd come up with this little challenge for myself to see if I could get this to work through equations and what have you so this is just a sing this this is just uh, built uh, it's a part and I have several configurations so you can just change through the gears um, I didn't get as detailed as having uh, the full cluster on the back and then the chain deforming and everything that would have been um, an extra level above you know um, so anyway, the focus on this was seeing if I could control um, things using equations to change the size of the, the cog and have, then have the, uh, the idler pulley and the tensioner pulley move the suit and then the chain also to move. So I'll just run through quickly how I did this. So to start with, I've set a, I open my equations here, my global variables. I have a number of teeth for the chain ring, 32, the chain stay length, 430 millimeters, the chain pitch, standard 12.7, and then the number of teeth on the cassette, 42, that's controlled through the configuration. Chain roller diameter for the teeth. Um, so to start with, in this sketch here, I have this, so this angle is controlled by the number of teeth in the chain ring. This distance here is upper chain links times the chain pitch. So what I've had to figure out is I need a distance between the, uh, the chain ring tooth and the cassette tooth. So that's figured out in here, upper chain links. So I've rounded the chain stay length, so the chain stay length which is 430 divided by the chain pitch. Um, and because I want that length to result uh, as units of chain pitch, so 34 times 12.7. Okay, so that's the chain ring tooth. And that gets extruded and then circular pattern, circular pattern based on the on the number of teeth for the chain ring, so that's changeable. The set tooth, a uh, similar sort of setup. Circular pattern based on uh, what ratio I'm, 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 I've, I've set in the configuration. This is to figure out the path for the chain. So I've got a, a path length, which is set via Total links and chain, 112. So you can change this as well. So 112 times 12.7. So there you go, total links and chain multiplied by chain pitch. Some other things we've got here. I've got the a variable here, global variable for the cage length, which is 80. Also in there, I've got spring force, which is, um, if you know derailleurs, you have a thing called a, is it the B screw, which controls um, sort of like a preload spring for the, is it the idler pulley? And I can't really simulate that well in here, so I decided to have a, because this is a change ratios, I want this pulley to move forward and back underneath the, um, the cassette cog that's currently picked. So to do that, I've got a, an angle here. Well, it's not an angle, sorry. That's that's a path length. So that's the length of this path here. Um, so I've rounded the set teeth. 
Sorry, it's hard to explain. Where are we? Okay. So I've got numbers, number of teeth of the cassette, so in this case 42, divided by the spring force, which is here, 1.8, and then I've got the int command on there to round it, to, so it's a whole number, so 23. So then this equation here is the 23 times the 23 minus 1, so 22 times the chain pitch. So that basically means this point here, doesn't matter what ratio, and it sort of floats back and forth around this uh, bottom area here. Because then this distance here is three times the chain pitch. Okay, so this, this pulley moves back and forth. Um, and then, yeah, path right around. Okay, so then I've just made um, the pulleys. And then I've patterned a chain um, with the rollers around there. Okay, so if I change ratio, you can see what's happened there. Um, the smaller, the smaller the, the cog on the cassette that's picked, this pulley moves. Um, like if I go right down to eleven. Um, you know, takes up the chain, I've got 42, um, this pulley gets a lot closer, and, and just like in reality, the, um, the bottom pulley gets pulled forward, because of the shortness of the chain. Um, I haven't got everything spot on, because there's some deviation, as you can see, um, around here, between the rollers and this uh, pulley here, um, yeah, but you know, let's have a look. We can go in here. Say you want to have a longer chain. Uh, uh, sorry, a longer cage on your derailleur. That updates. Um, you want to change the spring force? I'll show you what this does. So to simulate the bolt, the B screw. See that pulls it back. So less force. Um. I just basically mucked around with some values here until I got the uh, idler pulley to sit somewhere sort of semi-realistic. Um, yeah, so as an exercise, um, I learned a bit out of this. I'm sure this can be improved, so if anybody takes inspiration from this, um, yeah, show me, show me a better way to do it, because I'm sure there's better ways. Um, just a short video, so I think that's me for today. Um, if anybody wants the part, let me know. I can upload this. Um, actually, I might just upload it and then put a link in the comments to a Google Drive. Um, yeah, hope it was useful. Thank you very much. Andrew Jackson, have a good day. And uh, if you like this stuff, then subscribe to my channel and I'm, I'll see if I can get some more um, sort of ver variable stuff up online. Thanks very much. Bye.